So this is my finished product. This is the sandal that I covered and I have since worn these. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist and this is the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. Thanks so much for joining today. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, so today is super special. Some of you who follow me on Instagram, um, who have seen some of my shorts here on YouTube and have been looking at my stories know that I recently covered a pair of shoes. And I want to show you how I did it. You are literally watching me create this in real time. So I have not covered a pair of shoes in maybe 20 years. And when I did, it was a pump. So it was like, one piece covering the shoe and that was it. This time, there's the front of the shoe, there's the back of the shoe, there's the upper back of the shoe, and then there's the tie around the ankle. So this is a sandal with a block heel. And I picked up these shoes at the thrift store and when I saw them, I thought, I think I can work with these. And that's kind of how I look at stuff when I see it at the thrift store, I'm like, can I upcycle that? Can I do something different with that? And these were a perfect candidate for upcycling. So you'll see the video um, and I'm gonna take you step by step how I went about creating this. Now, a couple of things that you're gonna need for this project and feel free to try to you know, do it alongside with me. You can stop and start the video and um, as I go step by step, um, I left a few parts out that, you know, were pretty self-explanatory, um, and then I talked through those things, but I think you guys can do this because this was so fun. So this is my finished product. This is the sandal that I covered, and I have since worn these, and I had absolutely no problems with them. Nothing fell apart. Nothing was coming apart. Nothing fell down. I really, really love the way these turned out. And under normal circumstances, the way the shoe looked initially, it was just really plain. You know, you see here, the shoe is, it's a plain sandal uh, with a block heel and an ankle strap. And it's the perfect shoe to be able to cover. And so I used one men's tie. So I had this great, um, orange and kind of silver tie, uh, Marc Jacobs tie. And I just used that. And the one tie, I was able to cover both shoes and get an ankle strap. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Leave some comments below. I will respond to all of the comments all of them i love it when you guys tell me what you think about the projects that is so inspiring it keeps me going and i just really appreciate it so let's get into this upcycle this week upcycle shoes this is great all right enjoy after i decided on the tie i wanted i took the short end of the tie and measured it across the front of the shoe both shoes to make sure that i had enough there i cut that part off and then i began to open up the tie i used my seam ripper to completely disassemble the tie remove the interfacing remove the lining and everything and then after i took it apart i took it over to my ironing board and pressed it out flat now I have the tie completely pressed out. I start at the smaller end and I begin to wrap that smaller end around the heel and it ends up being a perfect fit. I did have to sew each side down um, first and then I applied it to the heel. So here I'm measuring that top portion to make sure that I have enough fabric to cover the heel as well as the back of the heel. And all of that worked out great. Um, I put it, I folded it over, cut it in half, and then I took a tool 
and I began to work my way through that back loop because what was left over from the tie was going to go around my ankle and I wanted to make sure that one it fit around there and that I could slide it through the back of the shoe. So as you can see here I took what was left from the tie folded it in half cut it in half and then took those two pieces folded them in half and pressed them down so here i am sewing and stitching cutting the ends on an angle turning it inside out pressing it flat and then these are going to be my ties that go around the ankle as you can see, I turned it through and I wanted to make sure that my ends had a nice good point. So I used the tool to push that point through and then I'm going to iron it nice and flat and put that to the side. This tool that I'm using, I got it at the dollar store, uh, but I will link something similar below. And basically I'm taking this tool, which is like a mini spatula, and I am gently, it doesn't look like gently, but I'm gently pressing it into the side of the shoe just to lift up that section enough to get the fabric kind of pushed down inside of there. So I take the fabric that I have and I begin to wrap it around, see how it's going to look. And what I ended up doing was I folded the piece in half, I stitched it down the center, and then I began to attach it to the shoe. Now also keep in mind, if you have a longer tie, you will have more fabric to work with. But I had a regular length men's tie. So I took that piece, folded it in half, and I stitched it together right there where you see the opening. I stitched it together. I also created an angle on the other piece so that they would be uniform. I stitched that down, turned them inside out, and then began to put it on the front of the shoe. And you'll see that a little later. So here I'm working on the heel. So I had another little piece of fabric left. I wrapped it around each heel just to make sure I had enough before I cut it. So you'll see where I have the piece of fabric attached to both heels, just making sure that there's enough. And this is where my fabric tack comes in. I um, put the glue on the heel and then began to put the fabric on there, but I only put glue on part of the heel at a time. This glue dries very quickly. As Soon as it hits the air, it begins to dry. And I didn't want to put glue on the entire heel and have it dry before I had an opportunity to apply the fabric. So here I am applying the fabric to the heel. You'll notice also that I did end up turning the edge of the fabric over and running a stitch down it just to uh, make sure that it stayed in place and I wrapped it around and now once I'm on the other side I put the glue on the rest of the heel and then fold the fabric over definitely want to take your time with this part of the process because the fabric does have a tendency to move around a little bit you can see from this shot that I did fold over the edge and stitch and it fit perfectly. Now I'm just going to press it down very lightly and leave it to dry. Hey, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, so here I am just trimming the excess off. I trimmed it right at the bottom of the heel so that I would have just about a quarter of an inch to fold under and glue down so i just trim off this excess fabric um, be very careful when you're trimming because you don't want to trim too much if you have extra that's always better but if you don't have enough it becomes very difficult and i did struggle here trying to fold that under and i debated should i just leave it nope i can't leave it 
I want it to look finished. I want it to look complete. So I took my time, folded it under. I used my tool to fold it under. I put the glue in there and held it down. What I ended up doing in order to keep this part held down, I used pins to secure it in place. And then when I put the glue in, um, I pressed it down with my fingers, but you can see here me trying to really work to fold it under and to keep it under, I used pins and they went right into the heel of the shoe. And here you can see the last little bit that I'm turning under and sticking the pins in. Um, this process is probably the part that took the longest, but I wanted you to see that and how that turned out. It looks uh, really good on both shoes. And then I began to apply the glue into that section and I used the tool to press it down and make sure that it was secure. I did not leave the pins in there because I did not want them getting stuck. All right, this next step I uh, touched on a little bit earlier, but this is actually connecting the fabric to the front part of this sandal and you can see here a little more closely where i'm pushing this tool down in side um, just making sure that i don't pull it up too much you want to be very careful in this area because if you go too far you could detach the original piece from the shoe so you only need to go in maybe about a quarter of an inch just enough to fit the fabric down in there and get some glue in there so this is where you see me taking the tool pushing the fabric in and then later i go in with the glue and that holds it together and it has a slight little fold which i liked i didn't want it to just be completely flat it has a slight little fold in it which i think looks very nice and i still use the tool to push that into the shoe and now I'm applying the glue right into that section and then I use my clips to hold it together and let it dry next we're going to go to the back of the heel and the piece that I have left over is basically it's a perfect fit I played around with how I would connect it whether it would be on an angle or straight on and it ended up being better straight on so you want to take that piece and fold it over I folded it over I put a pin in there just to kind of hold it in place um, I did not stitch down the sides for this I just laid the fabric down on top put some pins in there to hold it in place and then i began to glue it together okay here you can see there's a little bit of bulk in the fabric and it's going to require a stitch to go down the back so i squeezed a little bit of the fabric together put a pin in it and I eventually took it over to the sewing machine and stitched a seam up the back similar to the stitch that's in the shoe. And um, I don't necessarily need to show you that process because you may not need that on every shoe. I just needed it on mine. Um, I did fold the corners over. Um, I folded the edges over and that is the little triangular piece that goes on the back of the heel now i'm going to lay that right on top and i cut the excess fabric off the inside because you don't want that to be too bulky i cut it off the edges i trimmed it all the way around so that when i laid it on top of the back of the shoe it fits nice and smoothly I use my clips to hold it down and I glue all right now we're just going to apply the glue and once the glue is applied I strongly recommend using the clips wherever possible 
because this will help secure it in place. Sometimes the fabric has a tendency to move and shift. And as long as you put those clips in there, you will be just fine. You wanna leave this overnight to dry and try not to move it around too much. So this is the next day. Um, the last piece that needs to be glued and secured is this little piece right in the center right behind the strap um, so you have just a little bit of fabric there fold that over a uh, glue it first obviously and then fold it over and then use the clips because you see how that fabric just pops back use the clips to secure it and that should be fine next you can move on to the front part of the shoe now from earlier we allowed this to sit overnight to dry and we're simply going to pull that small piece back and apply glue all the way around. I apologize, my camera is trying to focus on my hand and the shoe at the same time. But you wanna make sure that you put enough glue on there to hold it in place. And then you just pull it over, make sure that it's secured and make sure that it's stretched fully so you don't have any pulling or buckling and then use the clips to clip it down now i still have this little tail hanging off and i decided that i was going to fold it over later and place some pearls there uh, but you can decide however you want to deal with that um, you can cut it and slide it under and stick it in like you did on the other side but I decided I wanted to make a little design so again let this dry at least half a day and then this is pretty much the last part of the shoe that needs to be completed uh, what I found is that putting this ankle strap in it would have been best to put it in before I added the fabric on the back of the shoe so when I went to the other shoe <laughs> I opened up that space in there with a tool. Now some shoes, that strap comes in and out really easily. For some reason or another, uh, Nine West secured the strap in the shoe and it was very difficult to, to remove. Um, I couldn't remove it, so I just am taking the fabric and I'm stuffing it inside that loop. Normally, I would just remove that strap completely and use the tie to be my strap for my ankle. So here you see me pulling it through, using the tool, using my um, seam ripper to push it all through. And that's, that's how we ended up. But again, on most shoes, that strap is removable. And the last part is the finishing completely up to you, but I decided to um, fold this little piece over glue it down and add some pearls. I thought that was a nice little embellishment And here we go This is my finished product and I absolutely love the way these shoes turned out you guys will try this out I mean it was not easy but it was not super hard either try it out let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week with another upcycle bye